I had headphones plugged into here. I just went 20 feet and they're completely gone. No idea where my headphones are. So right now I'm in that stage where you start to run and your eyes just keep getting watery. Usually it wears off after running for about five minutes, but today, if anybody's a runner out there, how do you avoid that? Because if I put on glasses, they steam up, and if I don't use glasses, the wind kicks into my eyes and makes them watery. Quick run, less than 48 hours, I have a job interview and I still have to build a presentation for it. I've got the skeleton set out, but I gotta go and finish everything else, including memorizing this whole presentation into my head. After the th three straight hours of skateboarding last week, finally, my knees are starting to get better. It's, it's a, a light pace run today, but the knees are at least feeling this run. They're not against me. I just realized I dropped my headphones. Back to the grass. Bonus run. Come on, headphones. You gotta be over here somewhere. Oh, this isn't good. This is like needle in a haystack. I don't know if I'm gonna find them. Seriously, I just moved like, I just moved 20 feet. How do I lose these things? Oh. And these were the gel buds too. Okay, I came and I put my camera here. All I did, all I did was run from down there to here. How, where? I had headphones plugged into here I just went 20 feet and they're completely gone no idea where my headphones are maybe I'll find them on the way back through this area but I doubt it running is completely different without headphones it's nice every now and then but I don't know with a little luck maybe we'll find the headphones on the way back the good news is that they were old. They weren't the newest headphones. They were actually starting to pull apart and fray a little bit. So it's not horrible I lost them. But the bad news is they, they were just the, the gummy buds that go in your ears and they're super comfortable. I showed you earlier me throwing my house keys in the mailbox. That's because I just keep the front door key right here. I tie it around my waistband. I hate, that's a common problem with runners. What do you do with your keys? Some people tie them to their shoelace and it just makes too much annoying noise for me. So with me, I kind of have like a two-part process. I take my main keys and I throw them in the mailbox, which locks, and then I just take the mailbox key and the front door key to the apartment and I tie that, just two keys, tie those around the waistband of my shorts. If it's tied around, if it's tied around this, it doesn't jingle as much. You can cinch that up pretty tight. It works pretty well. There's only two things you need to worry about. One, the mailman stealing your keys, which I don't think he would. And number two, you have to worry about this one nut. This, this is your security right here. This knot, you better make darn sure that this knot is tight because if you lose your keys, you're in trouble. Feel free to use that trick on your own. If you have any creative ways to hold your keys while running, please leave it in the comments. I'm always open to suggestions and I want to know these things. I'll have to review the tape at home when I'm editing and see if I can pinpoint where exactly I lost them. If I'm lucky, maybe I got it on film. If when I post this, you guys see these headphones anywhere in the grass I'm not looking, comment to me. To find the headphones, you have to think like the headphones. 
the only hope I have is that the French are really cool about finding things and putting them in a visible place. Like if you found something on the street or if you found something on this path, somebody will go and lay it on this railing or something. So maybe with some luck, that will be the case. That's the second tandem bicycle I've seen today. Is there a sale on these things? <laughs> It's the fourth, four tandem bicycles so far. Uh-oh, we have a dangerous situation here. This boat, heading directly for this turtle. I still can't get over losing these headphones. They're in my ears 99% of the time. And then the other 1% they're not, they're in my pocket. How in that minuscule fraction of time did I manage to lose them over an area of only 20 feet. Mind-boggling. Now I just gotta see, do I have any headphones at home? If I'm lucky, maybe I have an extra pair. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Bright orange and white. Or, all right, so the orange ones were garbage, but the white ones that are in there, they work fantastic. 